looks like a beer bottle and perfume. Possibly There's a couple things under it as well. And another piece, wow. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Wow, that's really something. That is amazing, actually. Henry, North Dakota, standing at the old train station site. The station's been here since the town was founded in the late 1890s. It's actually the second generation depot that's standing here now, but I got permission to excavate the grounds and hopefully look at the old outhouse pit. So I'll take a walk around and see what's going on. Well, here's the depot building standing here now. The train tracks are long out of service. As mentioned, this is a second generation building. It seems to have 1920s architecture. The original one was two stories. Right off the edge of the depot to the west, there's the sunken area, and I probed it down, hit some glass, some stove ashes, some other objects. This is a huge pit. It seems to be seven by four, six plus feet deep. So I'll get the sod off and see what's down there. something different. Well, it looks like we have our first whole piece. Uh, I can already tell this has some great age. There's bubbles in the glass and it's uh, possibly a turn mold. Uh, looks like there's uh, another top to something here. All right. Maybe a beer bottle. Oh yeah, that's a tooled top. WF and S Milwaukee. Oh, that's awesome, that's pre-prohibition. I'd put this at right around 1905, 1910. There's gonna be some good stuff down here. never seen one of these before. California Perfume Company. Fruit flavors. Tooled top. Got a couple pieces on the way out. There's a big metal piece here. I don't know if it's a barrel or some kind of sheet metal, but I'm trying to dig this out and uncover a couple pieces here. Maybe a few. Looks like uh yeah, okay the it's an ink bottle, the bottom's broken out. Uh looks like it says Thomas's Chicago. So that's Thomas's Ink Company. They were very popular around the turn of the century. This is a tooled top bottle, so again it's got some really good age to it. Now looks like some kind of drugstore bottle. Maybe a couple other pieces here. Uh, some eggshells. Saw some seeds. This yeah, maybe an undipped privy. Here's another piece.
right there. Some kind of food container, I think. Oh well, early machine made, some kind of food jar, held some kind of preserves, pickles, capers, something along those lines. All right, now the drugstore bottle. Oh, it's a Paris style, N, B, and G. These are almost always embossed. Tooled top though, circa 1905. Looks like a kind of ornate coffee cup, possibly a drugstore bottle, and a beer. Oh, we'll go for the coffee cup first. Yeah, it's broken. These are almost always broken. They were discarded after they broke. There it is anyway. This one is loosened up already. Looks like a standard drugstore bottle. Dakota. Dakota style. And this one might need a little work. Something underneath it. Okay, looks like a plain beer bottle. WFNS Milwaukee. Tooled top. No other embossing. Now let's see what's under it. Huh. So this one's a bit more narrow. What could this thing be? Be a bluing. Okay. Mrs. Stewart's bluing from Minneapolis. Looks like it had a heavy hit when they threw it down here. Looks like some sort of ale bottle. Uh, looks English made. Okay, it's an early machine made English ale. See, so it's got that really clean glass and that color. And this thing was sitting on top of this metal piece. I don't know, some kind of sheet metal or uh, some kind of part to something, I guess. I'll try to pry it out here. It's, it hasn't been easy. Maybe I'll find something underneath it. Looks like there's some bottles underneath it. Oh yeah, look at that. Broken liquor flask. Oh. And a shoe fly. Liquor bottle, look at that. That's gotta be from the start of the depot. Wow. Well, underneath this piece of metal, I hit a bunch of stove ashes, coal ash. I was taking a scoop into it. And uh, this panel bottle came out. Dr. S. Pitcher's Castoria. This was a castor oil medicine. So it looks like it has a tooled top. 
circa 1905, 1910, like the rest of the stuff in this pit. I also have something else underneath this piece of metal. Oh, and another one. Let's see here. Okay, looks like a blank drugstore bottle. Chilled top. This one's broken. It's uh, some kind of English ale. I'm still working my way around this metal sign and got a couple pieces on the way out, one here and one here. I also noticed a bunch of undigested seeds. So that's confirmation this is an outhouse. I was already suspecting that. But I'll get this top one out first. I've already been working at it a bit. Looks like a champagne bottle. Could be English, English made. Oh, let's see. Maybe intact. A lot of the stuff in here has been broken. All right, big old champagne bottle. Wow. See, it had the tin on the neck or that foil. That would have been the label. Now we're digging into the undigested seeds. Oh, there's another one. And another. Let's see. Okay, see they're all kind of wedged in here, so you gotta be careful not to damage anything. I'll go up to this top piece first. It's like an early machine made English ale. Connected AB Mark beer. It's the American Bottle Company or Dolphus Bush, something along those lines. Tooled top. Oh, looks like a big aqua bottle here. Could be a beer. Well into a use layer. I think this could have been an outhouse pit that was cleaned out and they left the bottom foot or two. Oh yeah, there's some more stuff in here. Let's see. Okay. WFNS Milwaukee. A tool top beer. No embossing. That looks like some kind of English ale. Let's see. Laying right on top of this sign, I should be able to pull this thing out soon. I think it's mainly uncovered. Huh. Well, so far this pit has been super productive, but maybe getting into some layers here. Alright. Now is this thing lodged in here? go early machine made English ale bottle huh. circa 1910 not too bad I'll see if I can pull this metal sign or whatever this thing is up now oh. Let's see. there's a bottle under it what is the deal with this thing I think it might have been an old sign for the depot but you may never know Alright. 
couple things under it. Let's see here. Some more rusted metal. Another one. Okay, it looks like a tool top beer bottle, WFNS Milwaukee. like a early machine made beer, G. Heilemann, La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's like another beer bottle, yeah, early machine made. metal pieces an old shovel wow huh. that's an oldie oh wow it's like a almost like Christmas pattern it has some holly berries on it or something wow Cosmetic container. Wow. Armour and Company Packers, Chicago. There's all kinds of stuff down here. It's like a beer bottle and perfume. Possibly. Ah, there's a couple things under it as well. And another piece. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's really something. That is amazing, actually. Some kind of perfume bottle. No embossing on it, but look at that stopper. Wow. Wonder if it's lodged in there. Yeah, I don't want to break it. Huh. That's really cool. Beer bottle and coffee cup. Oh, it's oh, got a nice floral pattern. Looks like it chipped, so they threw it down the outhouse pit. There, I'll get that pattern showing. That is cool. more pieces here. Looks like a food bottle. No embossing. Would have likely had a label on the neck and one on the side here. It's early machine made. Jelly jar, patented 1903. These are fairly common. Find a lot of them around the Dakotas anyway. 
Sometimes these are used as drinking glasses later on. It's like a beer bottle. AB Company. It's American Bottle Company or Anheuser Busch. Okay. Tool top. Heileman. Lacrosse, Wisconsin. And another. This one, I think, has some embossing on it. really something. New Miller, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It's a beer. F. New Miller. Wow. It's got a porcelain stopper. Oh, it's Fred. Fred New Miller. Wow, I think these were returnable, so. Yep, this bottle not to be sold. So it was a returnable piece. These aren't common. Wow. And it's, oh, it's actually a blob top. SBNG company. A mustard bottle. Sometimes these are Heinz. This one's a, uh, I think just generic. Would have had a paper label on it. Early machine made, I believe. Yep, early machine made. And it looks like a drugstore bottle flipped out of here. Ah, nothing home on it. Tooled tub. I have a ton of pieces on the way out. What do we have here? It looks like a tooled top food bottle of some sort. Huh. Patent applied for. Not too bad. Uh, oh wow, Griggs Cooper and Company, St. Paul, St. Paul, Minnesota, I think this is a beer, it's a uh, tooled top, we've got a soda, looks like it's a mug base, let's see what we've got here, Cheyenne Bottling Works, Stevens and Company, Valley City, North Dakota, wow, it looks mint, that's a beautiful aqua color. Wow. Alright. And there's plenty more. Let's see. Uh, drugstore bottle. Rex Oval. No embossing. just odd food bottles in here. This one's a tooled top. 20 ounce size. No embossing on it. All kinds of pieces on the way out. Wider bottle here. But this one is nearly got loose. Almost fell out. Well, that's kind of cool. A tooled top pickle bottle. Kind of ornate. No embossing on it. be a whiskey bottle. Let's see. Uh, 
It's a three-piece mold, tooled top whiskey. No embossing. Here, tooled top, AB Company, classic, no embossing. And one, here, maybe another beer. Oh. Tooled top, no embossing. I'm guessing it's another. AB Company 10, that could be 1910. It's hard to say for sure. Maybe into the bottom here, this clay. Hard to say for sure. stuff in here. Tooled top liquor flask. No embossing. Full of seeds. Uh, machine made pickle. Pickle goods container. Boss Beer, AB Company, 9, could be 1909. Looks like some kind of English ale on the way out of here. Into the clay. I think this side of the pit's almost done. Oh wow, it's another one of those beers from Wisconsin. Yep. New Miller, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oh, that's awesome. It's got the embossed cap on it. Circa 1905, blob top. Here's one just laying in the kind of ceiling of the pit. Frederick Stearns and Company, Detroit, Michigan. Wow, it's a tool top. I've never dug one of these before. I've dug some Stearns bottles, but not in the shape or color. Top beer, crown top. No embossing. WFNS Milwaukee. Circa 1910. Working my way across bottom here. There's not as much stuff on this other end, but we got a couple pieces here. Has some embossing. Tonic Vermifuge, Philadelphia. Dr. D. Janes. Right. Oh. In 
unattached drinking glass. Could have been a jelly jar originally. Although uh, it's intact, that's cool. No embossing on it. Dean Foster and Company drugstore bottle. Really good age, circa 1900. This is a really cool piece. It's a children's novelty cup. It has a girl and a dog on there. It says Buster Brown and uh, Crown China Germany on bottom. It's a turn of the century piece. It's really cool. Anyway, I've got a couple pieces down here. You see a pit bull bottle fell out, but we'll pull out this mason jar first. Almost got it loose, kind of. There we go. That's oh, broken. It's a ball jar though. It's a drop day triple loop. Machine made. It doesn't have a ground lip. Circa 1905. And the pickle bottle. Uh, tooled top. It's a, doesn't have any embossing. A little uh, sunburst pattern on the shoulder, but that's about it. I think this pit's nearing completion. Found a few more here. A couple pieces were wedged in. This one. It's a Rex Oval style drugstore bottle. Circa 1905 going bossing. Oh, this stuff's kind of wedged in here. This drugstore bottle on top of it. No embossing on this one, another Circa 1905 piece. What is this thing? Okay, it's like a little like milkshake glass or something. Huh, some kind of drinking glass. It's kind of cool. Now this looks like a Philadelphia Oval style. Uh, might be another one behind it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Philly Oval style. No embossing. Circa 1900. Well, the pits all finished up was roughly five and a half feet deep, seven feet long, four feet wide. Here's the hall, everything dated back to about 1905. Got all kinds of things. Uh, soda bottle from Valley City, those two beers from Oshkosh. A good lineup of some beers, whiskeys. Some food bottles, broken jars, some medicines, a bluing, and ink, some drugstore bottles, some wine bottles, English ales, and some whiskey flasks, along with some somewhat decorative pieces here, some flow blue and that holly berry uh, pitcher, a couple drinking glasses. So, this was a good dig. We'll get this thing filled back in. <laughs>